Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some more Rebel Galaxy. Uh, continuing on our little mission adventure. Uh, let's just pick the next clear closest one. Why not? We're just trying to make a little bit of capital. Our ship should be doing quite a bit better because we did upgrade it quite a bit last time. We got brand new uh, pull plating, brand new shields. We have three secondary weapons now. It's all good. Still the same broadsides though. We still have the proton cannons on our broadside. Would we'll probably eventually upgrade that. Oh, it's these guys. I don't like these guys. Red, little red. Okay, let's go. Deflectors up. These are the guys that killed me last time. Well, at least it's the same type of guys. No, shoot him, not the battery. Or whatever the hell that was. Okay, oh, deflectors up. Ow. Okay, bounty received. What is, what is this thing? This is a bad guy? That's weird. Nuts and bolts. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab that with a tractor beam. Okay, oh, there's one on the other side too. Crap. Okay. Let's blast by that. <laughs> blast by that. Because I can see on my radar there's another one right there. Let's see. Where's he? Yeah, we just... We drove right into those guys. Okay, let's just... Sit back, take out this uh, charged pulse battery. Oh, missiles. Oh well. Okay, this looks like there's a lot more of them, but luckily only these two are currently firing at me. Okay. Ordnance depleted already? No! Okay, I guess we'll just try and scoop by. Goodbye, bye. Words are difficult today, aren't they? Okay. This looks like there was only one Corian ship defending. That's a bit odd. Oh, there's something way out there. That might just be completely un un er, completely unrelated, though. Hmm. I want to try these. Pulse turrets. Is that even hurting it? Oh, wow, that's hurt, doing quite a bit. Okay. Um, was that everything? Did we complete the mission? I guess so. I just detected hostiles way over there. Oh, we can go check it out, see if they have any bounties on them. Not sure what I was supposed to do there. Was I supposed to destroy these things? Hmm. Well, let's check the missions actually. Mission log. That yeah, looks like we completed it. Okay. Well, let's see what we got over here, and then we'll just move on. Detected hostiles. Now we'll go and engage warp. They're a little bit further away. Pew. Okay, let's go and scan these bad boys. So we got one Harrier, Hammerhead, Bomber, Harrier, Bomber, Harrier. Oh yeah, we can take them. Oh, we don't have any missiles though. Crap, I forgot about that. Deflectors up. Okay, we'll take out that Bomber. Switch targets to the Harrier. Oh, he's almost down too. This looks like our flak turret was actually doing some stuff there. Explode deflectors up. Absorb a little bit of that damage. Come on. Ah, oh, didn't get my deflectors up in time. Okay, let's switch target to that bomber. There we go. Ah, oh, let's try and get a little bit of distance from the hammerhead. Actually, no, we should be able to take him out now. On you. Let's slow ourselves down a little bit while he's coming in. The shields are about to be down. There they go. Okay, speed up. Yeah, he's 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 booking it. And one more shot should do it. Down he goes. Ha! 
Cargo munitions. I will definitely take that. Thank you, sucker. We're gonna bounce into that. Ah, I just missed it. Okay. Uh, next mission. Uh, da, da, da. minor protection. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we gotta flip ourselves around. Gauge warp. Nope, keep turning, keep turning. There we go. Let's go protect those miners, man. Who else is gonna do it? You? Haha. <laughs> You're too busy watching other people play video games. Like some sort of chump. Speaking of chump, I just had to call in because I have Jerry to do tomorrow. And that should be fun. And while I just was saying that, I spilled water on my pants. God, I am. Every, you ever wake up someday and you just think that, not even maybe waking up, you just realize that you're just bad at being a, a person? Because <laughs> I do, I get that quite often. Okay, Batty, Batty McGoo over here. Oh, he's too far away. Mining tug, let's go do a little flyby. See how you doing. Hey oh, oh shit! I thought that was over me. Double jack. And open fire. I really do need to get some more missiles. Right now that flat gun's actually doing something. I might go back to the scatter turret instead of the flat gun. Maybe just because it fired more often, I feel like it was actually doing something. It was probably just a probably just me lying to myself. It's also because it's under the ship, so I feel like it often isn't the isn't choosing the best targets. Okay, he's down. Was that it? No, oh, it's gotta be more than that. Collision You're a collision warning. Oh crap, over there. I'm coming, I'm coming. Too far away. Just hang on, little buddy. I feel like we're not really aiming at him. Maybe just because we're so far away. Overheating. Nothing overheating. Now we'll let it cool down. Damn it! Yeah, 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 I see it, I see it. He's down, just one more gunship to take out. Gold ingots, yeah, we'll grab that. Oh, shit! Mission complete. Oh, he stole the... Cargo. Damn you. you. Little bastard. Alright. Well, I guess I'll be on my way. Um. Very low difficulty. I thought we had like a high risk one. I guess we're gonna do that. Uh, before we get on with like the main mission, mission, <laughs> the main campaign mission, we'll probably head over to a station and get some more munitions and possibly repair ourselves if need be. Because we are, we are completely out of those missiles. There's probably a way you can increase your ammo capacity for those missiles. It's got to be somewhere around here. In between these jumps or these warps, it's a good good time for stretches. You know, really get the juices flowing. Ah, do a little shoulder rolls. Uh oh, <laughs> kind of is it? Did little neck rolls. Okay, cargo dead drop. And yoink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just Corian Rift Jacker. Whatever that means. <laughs> He's dead. Oh look, he brought a friend for me to murder. See, you brought lots of friends for me to murder. Yeah, I might as well just leave. They're just little bastards. Eh, can we engage warp? Boost is depleted. Come on. 
Well, this is good. I think we're actually going to a station to drop off this cargo. So that'll be perfect. Okay, now we're going to sublight. There we go. So then we can just repair and buy some more munitions at this station. It's only 10,000 SM1. Alright, back to stretching. I'm gonna have a big dinner tonight. Going to a chicken and a waffle restaurant. <laughs> I probably haven't been to in like over a year. Me and my girlfriend went to it a long time ago. Well, a long time ago. That's relative because it was like a year ago. Oh shit! Which really good. They have chicken and waffles. Yep. It's as it's as delicious as it sounds. <laughs> Which I don't know. When when I first heard of it, it didn't sound very good to me. But you know. It is. It's very good. Hey, okay, 3430. We're gonna be at this. We'll start with jury duty earlier. I just called then. And my group was needed. So I have to report tomorrow downtown at, at 9 a.m. Which is ridiculously early. I mean, normally I'd have class at 10 a.m. that day. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna ignore that distress signal. <laughs> so I have to be there. I don't even know where I'm gonna park. I'm looking at the letter. I think it says you can look at. Yeah, you can look online for parking. This parking downtown sucks. If you are. Oh, here we go. Compensation. Here we go. If you are. <laughs> If you are not chosen as a trial juror, you will be compensated only for the mileage rate allowed by the law for one day. If you are selected to be a juror, you will receive $12 per day of service plus the mileage rate allowed by law. $12? Huh. Oh boy. Your jury service is for one day or one trial. Oh, crap. I passed it. <laughs> I was reading the letter. Damn it. <laughs> Flipping around. Ever so slowly. Come on, can I get there? There we go. Oh, great. Just, damn it, brought myself next to an extra field. Sweet, so I'm gonna make 12 whole dollars today. Hell, tomorrow I'll probably make more on YouTube <laughs> than through jury duty. Actually, it'll probably be about the same. Because, yeah. People, I've had people think that this was my job like I have just under 13,000 subscribers this is not my job I would need to get four times my current views for this to be my only solo job and that'd be that'd be like barely scraping by with minimum wage four times my current views so instead of like 250,000 views a month I would need more uh, more than a million yeah, people think we get paid a lot more than we do. We don't. You, you don't make shit on YouTube, guys. That's why I have my handy dandy Patreon campaign. 2,000 credits received. How much total money we got now? 38,000. I have refill ordinance. Don't gotta get repaired. Wow, all that fighting and they didn't break through our shields. Interesting. Components. Cargo hold. Cargo extenders. Subsystems. Fault tracker, maneuvering booster, okay, deflector absorber. Yes, these things are very expensive. Oh my god, turret optimizer for 7 million credits? Jesus. These guys are crazy. Okay, 140, 20. Ah, that barely increased our speed. Broadsides, can we afford the upgraded proton cannon? No, we can't. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Or what? 76 credits short? What? That's ridiculous. Oh wait, we have stuff in our cargo hold, don't we? Uh, commodities markets. Aha! Sell. Sell, 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 sell. Oh, we can't sell those. There we go, how much we got now? 47,000, woo! We can get the upgraded proton cannon for our broadsides. Buy that. Sell the current one. And we're at down at 16,000.
Nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you need that to use those jump gates. Those are the things I've seen kind of flown outside stations before. Boosters. We could afford that. Can't afford the better deflector. Got the best hole we got. Okay. Um. Let's see if there's any really good missions. Now let's just let's go on. Let's move on to the next um, it's the main campaign mission. No, oh, don't dock. Oh, I had my fingers too high on the keyboard again. I don't know why I keep doing that. Maybe because it's a new keyboard. I'm still getting used to it. Okay, what do we got? It's only five thousand away. Zenia Kerr. Sanders Okay, so this lady might know where our aunt is. I think it's a lady, Zenia, like Enya. Sail away, sail away, sail away. There's an awesome uh, remix of that song, the Sail Away song by Enya. I know it's not called Sail Away, it's called something else, I think it's like Latin or something, but it's awesome. That original song was on a CD called Pure Moods Volume 1, which is a CD that came with my family's very first CD player. Um, I was five or six years old because when we first moved to Texas, we lived there for like not even a year. Yeah, so I was in kindergarten. So that was like 19 years ago. I was like mid 90s, and the CD came with my brother's. He got a boombox for Christmas, and this it, he got the Ace of Base CD for some reason, <laughs> and a CD called Pure Moods Volume One. It had a bunch of random songs. It had the Enya song on it. It had Tubular Bells. Which is the the Exorcist song? It had the X Files theme song. Had a bunch of like it was like a new age music. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it was a really weird CD. Hey, what's up, Zenya? I hope you won't follow. I want to take a look at your ship. Oh, we're getting hit by lightning. Should we really be hanging out here? Mixed up with Sanda. On second thought, I don't care. Let's make this quick. I've got official business to deal with here, and we can't be seen having this little conversation. I'm trying to track down my aunt, Juna Markev. Juno, word is she was having some sort of deal with the military. You two are related? Well, if you take after her, I guess you're lucky you haven't been blown to dust already. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, never mind. That old pain in the ass and a certain internal affairs official have a temporary working relationship. At least they did until Juno disappeared in the last few days. <gasps> disappeared? That's right. Normally we consider it no great loss since she hasn't spent most of her time on the right side of the law. But there are extenuating circumstances. Hang on. Damn. All right, if you want this conversation to continue, you'll shut up and do exactly as I say. What's going on? I'm out here for a reason. There's a convoy of suspected drug runners passing through this quadrant. Since you're here, you might as well make yourself useful. That means you stay in line and you do what I say. Got it? Get it? Got it. Good. All right. Well, this sh should be an exciting... An exciting fight with our shields keep getting shot up by this lightning. But we'll probably see that for next episode. <laughs> uh, leave a like if you guys enjoyed and want to see more of Galaxy in the future. I'll see you next time. Uh, bye bye. Thank you all so much for watching, and a quick shout out to my patron supporters Burt Macklin FBI, Click, The New Warden, Depay, Josh P, Roland, Alexander S, Cameron W and Adam Gast. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash ctop. Thanks for watching.